the last, the last one. And then how um, are, are people really coming to buy? Very well. They are coming in their numbers. In fact, as you can see, the trucks have been going in and out of the state house. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. If you come here, you give your number, sorry, your name. Your name will be written on the book. We have a choir book and also we had a receipt. You have your name here, we have your name here too. And then the after once pay, after making your payment, a receipt, receipt. Yes. Okay. You'll be given a receipt and then you'll that can allow you to go inside, select your choice. Select the one you want. Yes. So after the buyer has a uh, the, the choice to go in and then select the one he wants. Yes, him or herself, yes. There's no problem about that. No we are not imposing anything to the people. They are free to select anyone they like. What's your name? Sundu Masare. What? Sundu Masare. From where? From Talendin. From Talendin. Yeah. But you sound very Sierra Leonean, am I right? Yeah, you are right. How long have you been in the Gambia? 12 years. You are Gambian now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You've been naturalized? Not yet. Uh -huh. And then I can, you, 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 are, you, are, you are also on the, on the queue. Yeah. I just wanted to, 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 to know your, your take on what is happening here. Yeah. The line, everybody's calm. Yeah. So we are trying to buy our ship. Yeah. But I, I mean, can you compare the, if you were to compare the prices from, I mean, the price here of the president's ram, and then outside, what would you, what, what would you say? No, this price is good, and the ship, they are very healthy, they are good. So I can say that you have tried also to buy ram outside. I tried, yeah, but the price is, was too hard for me. That's why, yeah, that's too expensive, that's why I come here. Yeah. yeah. So you just want to produce, uh, pay now and then get your ram? Yeah. How long have you been on the queue? No, just 20 minutes ago. But everything is orderly. You are happy with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the way it is done? The line is great. If you look at the, the, the transportation costs and everything and how much he's selling these lamps, I mean, is he getting any profit out of it? Like yesterday, he himself said it. He, sa he said this thing and he has been saying it over and over. He's not doing it for any profit. He's not looking for any profit. We have everything in records. Whatever we spend in, in Senegal, it is in records. He knows all about that. Okay? But he said he's not doing it for any profit. He's just doing it in order to help the people. That is all what he's doing it for. I've been died there on the Ram sale. The head of state has urged Gambians to live according to their religion. His Excellency Sir Professor Haji Dr. Yahya James Cole is contained in his traditional Tabaski message, and here is an excerpt. As we advance in our collective journey of socioeconomic development, it is important to reflect on the challenges we have overcome as this will help to strengthen our faith in the one true God, Allah, to whom alone we submit for guidance, sustenance, and salvation. Earlier this year, when we celebrated the 19th anniversary of the great July 22nd revolution, I chose as a theme, quote, Let's live according to our religion, unquote, and I would emphasize yet again the relevance of this theme to our current socioeconomic priorities amidst the challenges of globalization. We live in a highly integrated world, both in terms of economics and culture, yet we have our own beliefs and value systems anchored on and enhanced by religion to which we must stick at all times. There is no success or progress that will endure unless it is founded on the laws of God as promulgated in the Holy Quran. President Jamede are delivering his traditional Tabaski message and talking of Tabaski, the tailors are also busy at it, struggling to contain the tide as a result of the increasing demand from customers who want to spot beautiful and fashionable dresses during the feast. It can also be a tense period for tailors as some customers give them little or no breathing space to sew dresses. Our inquisitive Rohi Bite has been following up on the situation facing tailors against the backdrop of a ticking clock. 
The feast of Idul at her locally called Tobolsky is a feast that brings about the best out of every celebrant. Beautiful attires out of some ingenious piece of artwork in local trailering outlets. The bill up to this mega celebration has now reached fewer pitch and tailors are now racing against time to complete the huge load of work ahead of the feast. With days to go before the eat, some tailors are struggling to complete their work and for some it is a mighty struggle as more and more customers line in anticipation of having their clothes soon in time for the feast. A visit to some of the tailoring outlets in the country give us a true picture of desperate craft scramble to meeting deadlines in order to finish their work. For one like Pap Sise, he is confident that he is going to complete the clothes of his customers. According to him, it is always good to limit the amount one takes so as to avoid failing in meeting the demands of their customers. Another tailor, Kebangom, described the challenges faced as tailors during this period. Key among them, the frequent power outages, which he says affect the operational efficiency of their machines. Gom is, however, positive about the favorable business climate, which he added is driven well. The days and nights spent on sewing helps prevent these tailors from enjoying a good time to rest and have some sleep. Samba Faye has now learned his lesson as he explained how he used to handle the pressure of completing work ahead of the Tobaski. He took time to advise his fellow tailors to avoid the risks of taking in unlimited amount of work which they could hardly complete in time for the Tobaski feast. This, he says, often brings unnecessary problems between tailors and their customers. A walk around Banjo shows how tailors are frantically racing against time as they attempt to complete what remains, in some cases, a huge workload. The window is closing in and customers are breathing down their necks, but these tailors are not resting. No sleep and little time to relax. While some are busy at their machines, others are ironing, fixing pills, and before they are ready for display. The market was busy with tailors all engaged, but the question now is, will these tailors be able to complete the outfits of their customers? Rohi Bite, GRTS News. Well, still on preparations for tomorrow's feast, the build-up to the Feast of Tabaski is always an extraordinary busy period in the capital city. This is so because Banjul is one of the busiest gateways to the provinces. Thousands of people usually cross to Bara from the main terminal, but as we hear in this report by Louis Mendy, crossing is even a bigger challenge because this year only one ferry is in service whilst others are being repaired. Preparations for the Tobaski feast are in high gear and in the Gambia where many are anticipating reunion with their families in the provinces, the Banjul Ferry Terminal is the gateway to those traveling via North Bank region. However, situations emerging from the country's busiest crossing point indicated that activities there are slower this year round. The reason is that two of the three ferries that usually ply the seven nautical miles are on maintenance. Only one of them, Kanilai, is operational. Notwithstanding, the Gambia Post Authority seems determined to help the teeming mass of people with fleets of vehicles and animals storming the terminal get to Bara. Kadijata Suare heads to Medina City Mass in the North Bank region. Waiting for her turn to cross, she urged her fellow travelers to remain calm, insisting it has always been smooth to cross to the other side of the river, unlike this year. This boost Dozens of them complementing services provided by the ferries are busier than ever. Security personnel responsible for ensuring their compliance with safety precautions are on the ground. One of them, Aladdin Dur, said they couldn't have been more vigilant a week after a small fishing boat capsized, leaving eight people dead. The capacity of these boats range from 35 to 70 passengers. Passengers are provided with life jackets each. Security officers on the ground told GRTS the boats are safe. An interesting picture here as ram dealers are also busy offloading their rams from the other end of Bara ahead of the feast. Tobaski is usually a busy period in the Muslim calendar, bringing even non-Muslims into the mix. This is a grand celebration of the Feast of Sacrifice and few are left behind in the festivities. Louis Mendy, GRTS.
The death has been announced of Al Haji Babakar Toure, former chief of Lower Salem, who passed away on Wednesday, 2nd October 2013. The former chief, who was installed in 1975, retired in 2008 after rendering 33 years of dedicated service to the nation. May the soul of the departed rest in perfect peace. After nearly 48 hours of rigorous meetings and heated debates, delegates at the African Regional Conference on Population and Development 